Terre di Cinema, eh, oggi anche la prima giornata di Masterclass e ospite d'onore Daniel Kedem, direttore della fotografia in The Garden of Eden, che proprio questa sera verrà presentato in anteprima nazionale. Parliamo con lui di come è andata questa prima giornata. Uh, thank you for uh, seeing here and um, he's the first Masterclass uh, just with you. Uh, what do you think about uh, the students of uh, Terre di Cinema? <laughs> Sorry, you're going to edit this, right? Um, I hope I didn't bore them. It was the uh, first time for me too. Uh, I, I hope it was interesting for them. They had good questions. Uh, interesting. I think, you know, some are more technical. Some, uh, you know, some questions were more technical. Some were more general. Some about inspiration. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, you talk about also your career that is difficult to start uh, to begin a director of photography. What, what, I'm sorry, what was the question? Uh, the question is uh, how difficult it was for you, your career in director of photography? It, it took some time uh, and, and I feel I'm, I'm still a beginner, I'm still, uh, I'm still a beginner, I'm still uh, learning and I hope the better part is, uh, is ahead of me. <laughs> Um, if it was difficult, it's, you know, compared to what, um, it was okay. <laughs> Um, the Garden of Eden is a film that uh, in the premiere uh, just uh, for Italy here from uh, Forza da Gro that is a, uh, a very little um, place uh, but um, is a microcosm like uh, the, the garden of, uh, of, the, of Israel, of, uh, of modern Israel. It was the, um, uh, the, mess the message uh, for this uh, film uh, for Israel today i'm not sure there is a message to the film it's um the film is a little like a meditation mm. where you have an idea in your mind and you just you you think about it and you turn it around and you look at it at different directions i'm not sure there is a a message um, uh, very specific in it and i think it's part of the beauty of it that it's not it's not a manifesto and it's not trying to tell a very specific story. It's, um, it's looking at Israel and at a specific place and uh, over a period of time and just observing it and accepting it. And, and there is commentary about it, but it, I think it leaves a lot of room for the viewer to uh, understand it in different ways, to interpret it in different ways. How um, he is... Uh documentary or a um, more f cinematographic uh, way for uh, for Garden of Eden there is also a journalistic way to to view the Garden of Eden the the film the Garden of Eden uh, deals with a very specific place it's a national park in Israel that is uh, it's a couple of pools of water that surrounds a natural spring where natural water comes out and it's a place that a lot of Israelis come to um, for their holidays or come just to, uh, to swim or to visit and sit on the grass next to it. It's a very small place and there's nothing uh, very unique about it. And the film is not trying to tell the story of, uh, of what the place is, but to look at the people coming there. Um, so in that sense, it's not... A chasing after a narrative, a specific story or narrative. It's not a uh, journalistic effort, effort of sort. It's, uh, it's like a poem. So I think in that sense, the visual aspect is very important. It's, uh, it's an experience. It's an experience more than a manifesto. Okay, so welcome in Sicily. Is your first time? No, it's actually my second time and I'm very happy to be back here. It's very beautiful and unbearably picturesque. Enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you very much.